Ever wondered if there's more to the changing weather patterns than what meets the eye? What if someone told you that humans have the power to control weather? Welcome back to Reality Radar, the channel that never shies away from the most intriguing enigmas of our world. I'm Luvish, and today we're delving into one of the most controversial topics of our time. We're about to uncover the secrets of the Harp Conspiracy. Is it just a research facility, or does it hold the power to control our world? This journey takes us back to the early 90s, when HARP came into existence. The official narrative paints it as a joint venture between the US Air Force, Navy, the University of Alaska, and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, otherwise known as DARPA. Its primary purpose? To study the ionosphere and its potential to enhance radio communications and surveillance systems. But is that all there is to it? Fast forward to the mid-90s. The HARP facility in Alaska started to raise eyebrows, a technology that can manipulate the ionosphere. It sounded like a plot straight out of a science fiction novel. Some theorists began to speculate that HARP could do much more than just study the ionosphere. Enter the new millennium, and the whispers grew into a chorus. There were those who suggested that HARP could control the weather, causing storms, hurricanes, and even droughts. A powerful tool in the hands of those who wield it, don't you think? But the storm of speculation didn't stop there. Some even claimed that HARP could trigger earthquakes. The devastating 2010 earthquake in Haiti? Fingers pointed at HARP. The 2011 earthquake and tsunami in Japan? More fingers pointed at HARP. And then, in 2014, the US Air Force announced plans to close down the HARP facility. But was it really the end? Or just a new chapter in this ongoing saga? To recap, we've journeyed from the birth of HARP in the 90s through the growing suspicions and theories of weather control and earthquake triggering, all the way to the supposed closure of the facility. We live in a world where the line between science and science fiction often blurs. The HARP conspiracy, with its tantalizing mix of technology, power and speculation, is a perfect example of this. Is HARP just a research program, or is it a weather modification tool, an earthquake machine rolled into one? The jury is still out on that one, folks. But one thing is clear, in a world full of secrets and hidden truths, the quest for knowledge never ends. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow truth seekers. And if you have thoughts or insights on the HARP conspiracy, we want to hear them in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious, stay vigilant, and keep your reality radar on. I'm Lovish, signing off. Ish signing.